Sometimes we go through perilous periods in our lives. Other times we are coasting along. And I don't know whether you are facing a crisis in your life or whether you're having a good time. If you're having a good time, God bless you. It's great. But that may not be the story of your life. One day, you may face something that you never thought about. I want to share with you from this psalm, very simply, how to cry out to God. When you cry out to God, how to receive help from God. When you're in trouble, the first thing you should do is unashamedly cry out to God. God hears and God answers. God will avenge his own elect. He doesn't think you're a nuisance when you're crying out to him. When your cries come to him, he's not bothered by it. You are his elect. Individualistic Christianity is not true Christianity. When we give of ourselves to others in ministry, we receive ministry into our lives. Even if you don't get an answer for your situation, don't even consider the thought of going to some other source. Soothsayer, astrologer, or any other power that will trap you and will destroy your life. He was going through a difficult time, but look at his confession. Because of the simple fact that he affirmed in his heart the sovereignty of God. He knew that God is in control of all things. Even if I things are going in reverse gear in my life, Lord, you maintain my lot. But here is crisis situations and David is affirming that the way to cry out to God is to cry out to him desperately, reach out to other people, don't entertain ungodly options, affirm your covenant relationship with God, accept your lot. God will give you power. Seek guidance from Him and you will receive His strength to go day after day.